This part of Clichy-sous-Bois and neighbouring Montfermeil both benefited from an unprecedented renovation plan. Tower blocks were demolished, replaced by smaller residential buildings. That's down to a 670 million euro government facelift planned before the riots took place. Despite the investment, the same old problems persist. Young people need jobs, that's what they want. There, you've just been challenged. It doesn't surprise me. He's probably right. The unemployment rate in Clichy is more than 23 percent. It's one of France's poorest areas. The mayor has lived in clichy sous all his life and knows their situation better than most. The problem with this town is that it's very fragile. It's a kind of ghetto. There are too many people in difficulty. They're really socially disadvantaged. We leave behind this revamped neighborhood, complete with the town's first ever police station, for Le Chien Pointu in Lower Clichy. Built in the 1960s as a model estate, it's turned into an urban nightmare. One sign of an area that's been neglected, many of the lifts here have long stopped working and aren't being fixed. I'm fed up with this, it hurts my knees, because we keep going up and down and up and down. A situation which has forced the local council to hire workers to carry people's bags up the stairs. Oh no, I can't do this anymore. I need to breathe. So there isn't even electricity. It looks like the bulbs have blown and nobody's changed them. Lots of residents here don't pay their maintenance charges. Local authorities, submerged in relocation requests, are struggling to cope. Give us an apartment. There are new apartment buildings in Clichy-sous-Bois. But for us, you see how we live. This building is spoiled, rotten from the ground up. It's not a life, that's it. Those who live in these huge apartment buildings are angry. Many feel like they've been abandoned by the state. Take a look. It's crazy. Have you ever seen such a mess? Look at the ceiling. It's like a jungle here. Can you imagine that families have to walk through this? All the hallways look the same apart from the one that got burned out. It's amazing that those looking after the building don't do anything. Compared with how other young people are born and raised elsewhere, people here are the unlucky ones. Olivia works for a cooperative that buys and renovates homes in Le Chien Pointu. As a social worker, she spends some of her time helping out Kader and his friends. She helps them with their paperwork and is someone they can reach out to. Olivia hopes her assistance can give young residents like these the helping hand they need.